Yasuro is about to have so much fun with the sneaky here. <laughs> oh, Yasuro, are you ready to have fun, my friend? Because you are about to enjoy a lot of deaths and potential level. I mean, it, yes. Hello, Gomez here from the Land Up Channel again with another weird deck for you today. This time I have decided to go and uh, re explore Yasuro. Yasuro has been kind of out of meta for uh, a little while now. Now, admittedly, the best place to put Yasuro is Noxus. I'm not going to deny that. I know that for a fact. Um, but I'm going to be putting Noxus. Which I'm going to be putting uh, Yasuro in with Targon again. I did actually make a deck earlier on about this, but I'm going to be doing it again and I would explain why. So let's get into this. I've called the deck Sneaky Sun Stuns. Um, the reason for Sneaky is because I'm using the new card. Like basically, I was in an expedition uh, not too long ago on stream, uh, and somebody was actually playing a Yasuro deck where they just dropped this, and I wasn't expecting it on turn five and they had Yasser on the board and my units there were a lot of units that only had two or less attack at the time now admittedly that's not going to be true for most cases on on ladder because i mean um it's going to be true with the healing deck because most of the healing deck don't have things that go above two like a, like a lot of their board can consist of things that have less than two attack um the i guess what you could i guess like i'm just trying to think like okay, what else i guess if they're running trundle if they're still in the ramp stage of it then they could potentially still be having their stones on the board so you could potentially do a little bit of doing some damage in them with yasuro so you can like get close to uh, killing them and whatnot um but you know, it's just a really good way to help because right I'm not gonna lie, as I've already stated, Noxus is the best place for Yasuro. Yasuro, there's so many stun things in there. There's the Arachnid Spider. There's also the fact that, um, what's his face? Do -do 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 uh, Swain's spell combos so well with stun minions. It does four damage. That's a lot of damage. You can basically, like, wipe most things off the board. The Leviathan hitting down with Swain is stunning all those things. So. I'm not gonna lie, Yasuro does, and I, I feel like I will make another Yasuro deck with um, Noxus, just because it's been a little while since I've gone down that route. It doesn't really seem like many people are actually running him. As I said, like, did you, Yasuro, Yasuro's kind of been put on the back burner for a little while, and so that's why I decided to make this deck again. Um, it's which it worked with Leona because she does actually stun people. So there's a lot of daybreak in here to be getting up that Leona. Then when she levels up, um, hopefully, if you can get the always sunny man on, boom, hit him with all of those those things. So you're getting the stuns. Yasuro's getting them in. There's also the infinite mind splitter to be able to uh, yet again be getting those stuns, which is going to be doing damage as well as it's stalling your opponent's big attacks. Um, unless obviously they've got a way of getting rid of this this is this is where it doesn't 100 work against say the um trundle trendomir deck because they've got things like ruination they've got things like obviously like war mother's call so they're going to be continuously bringing threat onto the board this is where single will comes in i could technically run three single wheels i've only got two in this deck but single will just removing everything else from the field of play especially considering the fact that like a, a lot of their it, it does require you having to time this perfectly because it needs to basically be on your move because on their move their war mothers is going to be bringing their stuff out they're basically almost going for open attacks with their the amount of um overwhelmed damage they're bringing with Trundle and Trendomir. So trying to get Singular Will out at the right time against that deck is what this is all about. But also this can be just used against other decks as well. Um, Yasuro then just goes crazy, kills, hopefully, if you target Yasuro, he goes on there, like, kills most people. Um, and then, what you like, uh, obviously, you then just have him on the board and you can then go for an attack. Because uh, obviously he's got quick attacks, so it's hard to... Or you can even use it where you use it so that this is the only thing that stays on the board. And then you get that up to an insane degree. And then, boom, you can hit forward next turn. That's why, technically, sometimes these guys are the best people to put the um, Zenith Blade on. Just because of the fact that the Fae... Um, as I said, if you can keep them on the board, they're quick attack. As well as the fact that, as I said, um, if you use Singular Will, boom, that stays on the board. Everything else gets recalled. That... that amount of damage really quickly rockets it gives them a chance to put something on but if this has already got zenith blade on it then that damage is going to be going through so potentially that's who you want to be kind of putting your zenith blades on zenith blade is really in here more for the um for the daybreak to be able to level leona but it can obviously be used here for this kind of combo as well as the fact that it can be put on top of um 
it can be put on top of most things. Um, like if you want to put it on top of the infinite mind splitter for that more damage, but it depends on whether or not you want to keep it on the back line and keep it stunning wherever it's stunning. But yeah, so the the rest of the stuff is more kind of so a couple of stuns in here. This is also Yasuro's spell is which it is to do that stun. So just putting a few more of those in. But hopefully once you get Yasuro on the board, every single time you top deck Yasuro, you're then going to be throwing more out. Um, Slurry Soldier, obviously standard turn one drop for these kind of things, and then uh, the Shield Bearer for your turn two. Couple in, which a couple of um, guiding touches for a bit of heals, as well as the fact that obviously it's draw. Draw is the one thing that is slightly lacking in this deck. It's the one thing, but um, a big part of me kind of wants to, wants to change around. So potentially put in some deep meditation or put in some power cascades. Because admittedly, there is no power cascades in this deck. Just for that little bit more draw, because I do feel this deck needs it i'm not gonna lie um but bastion is such a good spell and counter against lee sin um potentially like i said like it's one of these things where it's it's really hard to decide what i want to cut if i were to cut something to put something else in so uh please let me know what you think down in the comment section down below but yes obviously you got your um your lovely turn ones all this is going to be working towards the owner and that as well as obviously like a stunts in there if you can get um, written in the stars off of Priestess to be able to bring either Leona or Yasuo out. That's always such an amazing move. So turn three, if you can do Priestess, Priestess. Um, as well as, yeah, again, stuns to be able to stop things from hitting you in combat, as well as le leveling Yasuo up. Then you're going all the way, which, like I said, like this, this, the sneaky, sneaky is just in here, as I said, to be able to hopefully stun your opponent's board if they're, which, if they're about to do quite a devastating attack, as well as the fact that they should level Yasuo up if they've got a board like that. As well as if Yasuo's on the board, just ha cha 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 cha, he goes along and kills a lot of different things. So that's the reason why I'm trying this in the deck. So this is more of an experimentation with this, I'm not going to lie. But as I said, Yasuo probably still desert. Like, he's, th this was just another resource that was given to a stun deck to potentially combine these two champions together again um so i think that was its main purpose in in this which are in the uh, the latest cards but i still think that he belongs in noxus noxus just have so many resources that work so much so well with yasuro so i will probably make another deck about about that but that's for, for future times anyway so so much plug time yesterday is the twitch twitter and instagram active on mondays tuesdays wednesdays and thursdays so if you want to come catch the action live duel me have any deck deck suggestions you want me to try out please i love all the community interaction that we get from this and i do love all the support that you guys give so if you want to check that out please feel free to um there is also the what you call it um the la, 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 discord down below if you want to join the discord so you can join like my people we're building a lovely community of people I'm um, loving every second of it. There's also a game site and a movie night in that Discord, so if you want to get involved with that, feel free to. Um, I do have a personal goal where I want to hit either a thousand subscribers or a thousand followers by the end of the year. If I hit both of them, I'm gonna to have to do something magnificent. If I hit one of them, I've still got to do something magnificent. But if I hit both of them, got to do something fantastic. But honestly, the amount of support that I've been getting anyway, thank you all so much. It really does mean so much to me. So, without further ado, and with no more gushing, let's get in and see how this deck do. Dragons. Dragons, I see. Okay. So we can stun out some of their attacks. Obviously, their whole thing is about attacking forward um, with fury and whatnot to get more damage. I'm actually so much me thinking about keeping the stun there. But I feel like Leona's got to stun herself. We'll um, please top deck. Come on, soldier. Soldier! Okay, no soldier. But that is shield bearer is still a quite a good move to throw down on their turn because if they throw something down um, Shield bearer is just such a good defense. They've not gone with anything Maybe because they know that we're gonna shield bearer. So I'm actually gonna swap over because I'd rather have these stats If I'm not gonna have it on a defensive, I'll have it on an attack Admittedly that just means one more turn of not doing any Really? They still don't have anything, but I mean I'm guessing so it's their hand just full of concerted strikes and single combats and all that and they've got a Shivana in I feel like I don't know. This is, I feel like I'm being baited into something here. Okay. So, I'm just going to go with throwing the owner out itself, getting the stun out. Just because, yeah, again, we need to be working towards Yasuro as well, right? Because Yasuro does still take... He does still take five. So, anything that's getting me even remotely close to him, I'll take. We can now throw the Always Sunny guy out. Just so that... Ooh, two Always Sunny men. Uh, throw the Always Sunny guy out. Nice. The Eclipse Dragon is actually a devastating one to get. 
Because we could now actually throw, we could even throw a Zenith Blade if we wanted to, just so that we could level Fire her up. Level her up and get quite a nice, um, because it should also give the stun as well, right? A blade with blessed sunlight. So now the fact that she's leveled up, now we just need Yasuro. That's literally all we need now for this combo to be 100% complete. I did say that I would prefer to have uh, the Zenith Blade on top of this, but you, t you get what you, you, you take what you can get. Concert Actually, no, he can't use Concerted Strike anymore. I feel like this is the move that we've got to go with. Um, there is still... Um, What's his face? Sharp Sight, or whatever it is. So Sharp Sight, he could potentially use on top of this dragon. Sharp Sight on top of that, I'm guessing. Oh no, single combat. Okay. So but then that 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 dying, then yep, yeah, you know, no, I can. That's actually a smart move. A smart move to clear widget to clear my side of the ball. This I do appreciate. It's because I I knew I had an always sunny guy in the hand anyway. But I can actually stun her right now if I throw my always. It depends on what they throw out and what its stats are. Because obviously this. Okay, so we can stun. So if we use this, that does actually stun both of them. Although it is on our attack turn, so I'm oh, sorry, on our defensive turn. So that means that although we're stunning both of them. Um, it's not exactly the best move, but potentially this might actually be where I go down. Just so that we stun both of them. So I go for the stunning both of them, and then also that means that we're getting closer to Yasuro. I don't mind doing this move. Just because it stops the attack forward, it stops the level up of Shivana. So, I'm quite happy. I'm quite happy to get those stuns in right now, and then know that obviously... Yasuro is closer to his level up. We do still have singular will in hand. So now we throw out the always sunny man. Just to get yet again. Now. Really? He's giving us another one of these morning lights? Yeah, get that out. So Yasuro, when, when we see Yasuro, if we see Yasuro, um, I am more than I do we just go, do we just go for an attack forward here? Single combat might come out again. I feel like single combat might come out again. Do we just go with the Zenith Blade on top of this guy? Just for the additional stun. Because, I mean, we're increasing the damage. Potentially, we see Concerted Strike here, actually. Concerted Strike? A beam of light to pierce the heavens. I was massively expecting Concerted Strike. But this actually does level Yasuro. So, le Yasuro is leveled now. We do have the ultimate stun utensil in our hand, and then we just go straight forward and attack forward. This doesn't seem like a bad plan. I'm guessing concerted. This got yeah, concerted strike. Still, I was gonna say I was gonna say she's not dead, but the, the way round he did that, she is dead because the level up now means that's got four attacks. So yep, no, she is dead. Sadly. Um, but we do have another Leona in hand, so we can actually just throw her down next turn and immediately stun again. Had to kill Eggman. It's fine. I said he knew the risks when he went into the research field. Alright, but she is now leveled up, and so that is devastating. Where's my Yasuro? I need, I need Yasuro! So I can throw you out, which actually does stun, so she doesn't get the um, Shaping Strike. Which is good. Because Strafing Strike really does let that deck go crazy. I mean, I'm expecting there's still going to be another Concerted Strike. That Shadow of Doubt, there's probably still a Concerted Strike in here, because why would you not be running Concerted Strike? But, yeah. Buffs. Buffs, buffs away. Yeah. Fair play, fair play. Right. Yeah, no, there's nothing I can do that saves her right now. Sadly, this has not really been useful against the deck that we're up against. We could still actually play you for the purpose of doing the elusive damage. I mean, he could have Sharp Sight. As I said, Sharp Sight is 
is a thing. Ooh, so at least we got at least we got a defense. Does mean our next dragon, but our, we don't really have dragons, and therefore dragons not really where this deck is going. We could <laughs> we could recall all the progress of of their side of the field. And then that would... I said, if only a Zenith Blade was on top of you, that would be an unbelievably funny move. Would just be to go with that now. I mean, Concerted Strike would come out, I think, if he had, or Single Combat. Um, I'd prefer to have your Nightfall ability, in all honesty. So, gonna go with that. Ooh, Sly Priestess has made potential change in plans. Should have, should have just gone for should have just gone for what I knew was right. Should have just gone for what I knew was right. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Should have gone for should have gone for the eclipse. Should have gone with the eclipse while I had it. All right. We're just gonna let that damage go in. We're let this damage go in. Um, there could be single combat. There could be single combat, but I'd rather just go boom. Let that go in. As I do know that we do have the singular will, which just might just be like, just that little bit that they're not expecting. Oh, singular will. Singular will into open. I mean, this is definitely not going to work out the way that I want it to, because I feel like single combat comes out. But in case, in case it does, you've got to go with a gamble, Campbell, right? We are also going to be filling our hands. So if we do top deck Yasuo or Leona or La La the last Leona, then all is lost. But boom! I dare you. Hey, like damn apples! <laughs> Now we're going to an open. We're going to an open and just like, yeah. Oh, and of course we burn Yasuro. Oh, the Oma betrayal. <laughs> the Oma betrayal. We burn Yasuro. Oh, I mean, potentially, um, yeah, I was going to say hush, but boom. <laughs> That's the kind of finisher I love. When, when all is lost because the dragon army's there, just nah, none of that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fearsome, fearsome. So the sneaky will hit. Um, what's her face? But this is actually a really aggressive deck, and the, the especially the fearsomeness of it does just escalate very quickly. Maybe we, do we keep? No, no, we need this game. We need to be kind of keeping our wits about us. Ooh, singular will might end up being. I mean, it's, it's too late game. This get this deck kills you very quickly if you're not careful. No one's the wiser. I'm actually really good, so at least that means that he still stays alive. It depends on whether or not she wants to, yeah, didn't want to make the trade off, did you? Makes sense. Oh, that does actually affect that. I'm gonna go for the attack forward because I kind of actually I, I wait the trade off just to stop the one damage, but that's fine, that's fine. We go with that. We've got a um palm, which does mean that we can at least I have my orders. I mean, this is actually going to level Yasser up a lot faster than what I thought. I, I thought this deck was a much more uh, fearsome deck than than this, so that's quite devastating. I still go with this, so I've got defense, as well as stopping that additional damage going into my core right now. Um, obviously, his champ could be a problem. Right, I'm going to go killing you and killing you. Should, should have gone for should have gone for the big man. Decided to go for the little spider. Oh come on, yeah, Yasuro, Yasuro, come to me now. Come, big boy, come to me now, so that we can throw that on turn five and laugh. Come to me, Yasuro. Yes, believing in the heart of the card sometimes actually pays off. Um, right. Death is like the wind. I'm just trying to think. I'm trying to think what he has for four. He de does he have the slightest like, immediate counter that I'm just not expecting? I mean, Yasuro is about to have so much fun with the sneaky here. <laughs> oh, Yasuro, are you ready to have fun, my friend? Because you are about to enjoy a lot of deaths and potential level. I mean, it yes, yes, yes. <sighs> Yeah, no. 
Ah, oh, that just, that just has put every, that, their power above what I need it to be. I could still throw this out. Um, I could still throw this out because it still kills there and it still kills there. So providing two stuns. Um, because that is actually a permanent buff from what I remember. Or is it just this for this round? For this round. Okay. We shall relay our order. We shall relay our order. But we will get you, Spider-Man. I mean, we will get you. It might be it might be a little bit later, but we will get you. And we still got to kill somebody there. Oh, yes. Yes. This is fine. This is fine. If you want to go for the attack forward, go for the attack forward, I dare you. Okay, so we can still block here. I'm just trying to think like I walk. So it's more the fact that I know that um, what's his face is a thing. Like, um, no more running. I mean, we do we do actually have a heal spell, so actually potentially putting him in front of the big the big thing is not actually. A I was gonna say like decimate and things like that. We do know he's also got another one of these in hand, because obviously this was created off of the uh, fear machines. Yeah. So if he does have an unspeakable horror, we do have a way of like, healing Yasuro, but we've basically got a really good bald wipe next turn. So, oh, I, can't, I kind of wanted to play more into it. I wanted to play more into it. Right, I feel like we, we go for this, we then go for the Guiding Touch if he tries to Unspeakable Horror Yasuro, wait for him to build up a little bit more of a board and then just throw you out and then just watch. That's the plan. Because that really, I mean that's for two minions, I want more. I want more than that. Okay. He's just going to accept. He just accept. I guess Skitterers is, the, is my annoyance here, because if he can get them yet again so that... They get some above Fusion, but we, we wait, we wait. It's not not what I needed to see, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I guess I guess I'll take the two then. <laughs> I guess I'll take the two. I did I did want more than the two, but I guess I'll take them. I do also have another stun for the attack. The healing might just have to go into my core. For the Empire. The healing's gonna have to go into my core, isn't it? Because I mean, otherwise he just um, uses Decimate and kills me this turn. Actually, does Decimate still? Decimate just? I just can beat. I just can beat um, Decimate. This has not been as easy as I thought it was gonna be. I saw the deck going down with all the spiders, little little tiny. <sighs> 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 Okay. I mean, we're gonna have to heal up my core. I feel like the decimate is what's gonna be coming out, right? Right. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait and see what he goes with here. He's still at three mana. Does he go for the attack or does he not? Remember the objectives. Right. So we can barely barely stay alive Make the Empire proud. Oof. I mean I guess I gotta throw the other shield bearer out so that I've got oh, more attack next turn because I guess we've got to go full on open attack because it's all we got <laughs> everyone because <laughs> literally all he needs is decimate we're done I mean we're, 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 we're done aren't we we're, we're just done we're just done yeah Unspeakable. <laughs> okay, it's fine. It's fine. We can still, we can still stun that one. Now we just need to hope that he's not got any abilities. Ha cha cha! <laughs> we just need to hope that he's not got any other abilities right now. My <laughs> own. Oh, the, just don't have the decimate. Just don't have the decimate. Don't be the man who has the decimate right now. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. They're gonna have the decimate, aren't they? Come on, don't. Oh! Oh! I see what's disgusting. 
<laughs> oh, devastating. I'm not gonna lie, I thought that was actually gonna be an easy game when, when all those spiders came out. But yeah, no, it turned savage very quickly. <laughs> Okay, so somebody else? Somebody else actually doing the same as me. Devastating. Hmm. Do we keep the Bastion? No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not going to. I might not even keep that. Um Yeah, I'm not gonna keep it. I'm just gonna throw back this whole hand. See what we get. Ooh, okay, alright, so we've got a little bit down, more down the sun um sun rope, which is nice. Okay, so if we can if we can if we can level up our Leona before they can level up their Leona, we might have actually have a really good chance here. <laughs> so I just need to prove that I can wear it better, right? That's all I've got to do is prove that I can wear wear this deck better. I mean, so turn four turn four is when Yasuro drops. Turn four is when Yasuro drops. So as long as I can um, do as much damage as possible before turn four, where the stuns can come out. It's fine. Bask in her radiant blessing. Okay. So they're already down to nine. But obviously, they can now. The Yasuro train can start, and the stun train can now start. Yeah. Yasuro is now on the board. The but we do actually have a leveled up Leona now as well. It might not be enough. It might not be enough. We've always got, we've got the always sunny. We've got the always sunny guy as well. But obviously his stu his stuns do damage. My stuns, sadly, at this moment in time, don't do damage, but they do start leveling up my Yasuro. So we've got to go big on board. The dawn has arrived. With its light, the Solari will unite the heavens. So ha cha cha cha. We've got to go big on the attack. We've got to go big on the attack. They've got less health than us. There is also the chance of Steel Tempest. There's a chance of um, Concussive Palm. There's so many different things that he's got that he could potentially use. But we need we need to be just doing it. Whimsy. Whimsy was the one thing I was not expecting. <laughs> I was massively expecting concussive palm. Okay. We have our concussive palm ourselves. Um, so I'm going to throw out the soldier so we get a stun off of Leona and then we can potentially get another stun off of concussive. We're going to need that other stun. We're going to need that other stun. He doesn't have any mana left for a stun. That's the one positive is that he does not have enough mana left for another stun. Daylight, everlasting. So Larry control all that her want touches. Okay. I do alright. So I mean uh, the, the only the plus the <laughs> I mean, I was going to say the positive is that even though he's got both champions on the board, the way that he's using that deck is not working with the... So that actually worked okay for me in the end. <laughs> I legitimately, I thought it was going to be a really hard matchup. That actually went quite quickly. It's in the fact, so it's, at, least it's, at least there's other people experimenting with it. So yes, that was the Sneaky Sun Stuns deck. Um, I do still think that Yasuo's main home is in um, Noxus. He's just got so many different things to work, and I definitely feel like I will be making a deck around that. I want to see how the new cards go, because obviously there's going to be the cards that are going to be coming from the event that's going to be activated tonight. So I do want to see, I do want to be playing around more with them than anything else, but I will at some point recycle background. I just wanted to see what that was like with that new card that got added, whether or not it added in anything or, or didn't. It does actually add the ability to get out a lot of stunts early on there or a lot of people's early game which is actually really nice it's just whether or not you can get that Yasuo out and so it's a fun deck to play and I definitely did enjoy it so it's up to you whether or not I don't think this is a meta deck at this moment in time with how things are going but it's definitely a fun deck so if you want to get involved with that please feel free to let me know how it went for you if you use this deck down in the conversation down below if there's any changes you make let me know but I do think that um, if you want to be maining Yasuo you want to be throwing him in with Noxus definitely there's, there's far more resources there. I think I, I will make a deck that works with Noxus, but as I said, right now, 
I think with new cards and that, I'm probably going to be experimenting with new cards and having fun with them. Um, but just wanted to see with that new card that was given, the sneaky um, Zibbles or whatever it's called, just wanted to see how it went. It's, it's, it's okay. It's actually a, a, a nice addition to an Ionia um, Targon deck with Widget Let, Yasuro, and um, Leona. But thank you so much for watching. I am, remember that you can catch me on Twitch on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. So if you want to come catch the action live, please feel free to. As well as the fact that there is the Discord link down below. So if you want to join that and start helping build this lovely community of people that we're starting to build, then please feel free to do that as well as hitting that subscribe and follow button if you decide to do so if this has been entertaining enough but thank you so much for watching until next time bye don't you do it i said don't you do it okay okay is there literally anything that i could draw or that i could get from flash of brilliance that could save me save me that doesn't save me okay is there anything from you save me that doesn't save me! Okay. Get rid of this and get rid of this. Find something that can save me!